So in this last section, we are going to look at um, special binomials or special trinomials and how to factor those things. Okay, so you're going to be dealing with two different types. You'll be dealing with perfect square trinomials and also difference of square trinomials. So let's first focus on perfect square trinomials. So perfect square trinomials has the form a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, and this thing can be factored into this a plus b squared. This would be its factored form. Now before moving forward, let's just prove that this is in fact true, that a plus b squared equals this. So remember and recall what that square means. This means that you're going to multiply a plus b together and figure out what that answer is. So a plus b times a plus b. Here, since it's two binomials, multiplying, you can do FOIL. So the first two numbers here are a and a. So it'll be a times a, which gives me a squared. The outer numbers are a and b. So it'll be a times b, which gives me a b. The inner The inner values and terms are a and or sorry b and a. So this will be b times a, which gives me b a. And remember, multiplication is commutative, so you can make this a b. And then finally, our last would be b and b. So this would be b times b, which gives me b squared. And I'm going to take all these values and add them together. So here I'll get a squared plus a b plus a b plus b squared. So a squared plus a b plus a b plus b squared. And now I can combine like terms. So I have two like terms here, same variables with the same exponents. So this would be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And you can see that this is, in fact, true. Now, do I recommend memorizing this. No, not at all. That's not very useful. What I suggest is simply factoring by decomposition. Okay. Now, if we factor this by decomposition, we will get the correct answer here. So let's first focus on this, and we can't divide 4 out by all these numbers, so we're going to have to factor by decomp. So we are going to perform PSA. So what is my product. Well, my product is my leading coefficient multiplying my constant. So 4 times 9, which gives us 36. Okay. So here, two numbers that multiply to 36, and then our sum is the answer in the middle. So those same two numbers adding to 12. Okay, here I can see that 36 can be 6 times 6, and then 6 plus 6 also equals 12. So it looks like our answer will be 6 and 6. Okay, so 6, 6, and 6, and 6. So remember, factoring de by decomposition, we don't simply just do this, x plus 6 times x plus 6. That's only when you have a coefficient of 1, leading coefficient of 1. So we can't do that. What we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to replace 6 and 6 for 12. So this will be plus 6x plus 6x plus 9. And then from there, we are going to focus on our front two terms and then focus on our last two terms. So our front two terms here, what can I factor out? Well, I can factor out a 2x. So if I factor out a 2x, 4x squared dividing 2x, well that gives you 4 divided by 2, which is 2, x squared divided by x, which gives you x. So this will be 2x here. Then I'm going to do 6x dividing 2x, okay, 6x dividing 2x. 6 divided by 2 gives me 3, and then x's cancel out, so this will simply be positive 3. Now when you go to your next two terms, you have to ask yourself, what can I divide out of this in order to get to this binomial? 
Well, here I can recognize that I can divide by 3. So I'm going to take a 3 out of here, and then I'm going to do 6x dividing 3, which gives me 2x. So that gives me 2x here. And then I will do 9 dividing 3. So 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. So that adds to 3 there. And now you can see I have two of the same binomials, which I can factor out. So I'm going to take out 2x plus 3, and that leaves me with 2x plus 3. So this is where my 2x plus 3 comes from, and the other 2x plus 3 comes from this guy here. Okay, now recognize these are the two of the same binomials multiplying each other. 2x plus 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3, so I can simply represent this as 2x plus 3 squared. So that is um, showing us how we can do that. And we can clearly see here that if we go back to what we were talking about up here, well, in this case, a equals 2x and b equals 3, right? So if we plug it into this equation, we should get our factor or our non-factored form. So let's do that. So a will be 2x squared plus 2 times a, which is 2x, times 3, plus b, which is 3 squared. So here I did a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then if you simplify this, well, we have to apply this square into both values here. So this will be 2 squared times x squared, so 4x squared. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. And then you have an x. And then 3 squared is 9, so plus 9. So we can see it actually, in fact, works out. But again, would I recommend memorizing this and applying it both ways? Absolutely not. Always factor by decomp. Plus, at this point, you should be pretty used to knowing how to factor by decomp. All right, let's move on ahead here. So here, we can see a little bit more of a difficult question, okay? But at the end of the day, we can still factor this by decomposition, okay? So how could I factor this by decomposition? Well, the way I'm gonna factor this by decomposition is what is my product, what is my sum, and what is my answer? Okay, so in this case, I have 3p squared multiplying negative 2q squared. So this will be 3p squared multiplying negative 2q squared. Oh, squared. And that's going to give me negative 6. Okay, so my product will be negative 6, and my sum is going to be negative 5. Now, what would my answers be there? Well, I know that negative 1 times 6 equals negative 6. Negative 1 plus 6, well, that gives me positive 5. So that's not going to work because I need it to be negative 5. But if I flip the signs there, I can get 1 times negative 6, which gives me negative 6. 1 plus negative 6, which gives me negative 5. So it looks like my answers will be 1 and negative 6. my answer is here will be 1 and negative 6. Now again, this isn't a simple trinomial, so I'm going to have to replace this in for negative 5pq. So here I'll be 3p squared plus pq minus 6pq minus 2q squared. And then at this point, we're simply just dividing things out. So here I can divide out a P. See how there's P's involved there? I can divide out one P from each thing. So this would be three P plus Q. Now I want to focus on my next two terms. And my next two terms, I want to factor something out in order to turn into three P plus Q. 
So I notice that they're both negative, so I'm going to divide out a negative. And to get 6 turning into 3, I need to divide by 2. Um, so this will be 2, and I can also divide out a q. So what does negative 6pq dividing negative 2q equal? Well, negative 6 divided by 3 gives me positive, or sorry, negative 6 divided by 2 gives me positive 3. And then q divided by q, those cancel out and you're left with p. So this will be 3p. And then here, I'm going to do negative 2q squared divided by negative 2q. So negative 2q squared divided by negative 2q. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 gives me positive 1. Negative q, or sorry, q squared divided by q gives me just a q. Cancels one out on the top and cancels the bottom out. So this would be plus q. And hopefully we can see here that I have similar binomials. So I can factor out 3p plus q. And what are you left with when you factor out 3p plus q? You're left with p minus 2q. So we can write that right here. p minus 2q. So there is a solution. So here, was that exactly a, uh, a perfect square trinomial? No, it wasn't. It kind of looked like it, but then we factored it properly. And we can see that these are two different um, binomials. So we're going to go on to one more special trinomial here. And this one pops up a ton. And it's really useful to be able to tell which one it is. So this is called the difference of squares trinomial. So a difference of squares trinomial is when you have a squared number subtracting a squared number and you can see we have a plus b times a minus b. So there's a pattern there. So here we have 9x squared minus 16. 9 is a perfect square, 16 is a perfect square, and you can also square root x. So here, we know that 9x squared would equal 3x and both of those things squared. So this would be a. We also know that 16 is 4 squared. So this would be b. So if we go over here, we have 3x squared minus 4 squared. And we could simply just plug these in. So a goes here and here. B goes here and here. So this will be 3x plus 4, 3x minus 4. That's why it's called a difference of squares. You have a difference. Now, if this is ever a positive symbol, you can't do really anything. Okay? So we have to do difference of squares there. Okay. Recognize, though, you can still factor by decomposition. This one's a little bit easier to just remember the pattern, but I'll show you how to factor by decomp. So here, we have 81m squared minus 49. Well, it's pretty easy to remember that 81m squared, well, that's just 9m to the power of 2, okay? So recognize I'm utilizing my brackets here. 49 here, well, that is 7 squared. So these are both perfect squares, and it's a difference. So I know that this is going to be a difference of squares. So here, I'll have 9m plus 7, and then 9m minus 7. And there is your solution. Now, how could I use factoring by decomposition? Well, here I get, um, this one might be kind of a pain in the butt to factor by decomp. So usually with difference of squares, it's pretty easy to tell as long as you know how to set up it, set it up properly. So over here, let's look at this one. We have 162v to the power of 4 and then 2w to the power of 4. So this one's not quite as easy, but recognize that 2 w to the power of 4 
Well, that simply equals the square root of two w squared and that whole thing squared. So you have to remember this rule, m times n to the power of, let's say, a, you simply just bring in your values when everything's multiplying. So it'll be m to the power of a, n to the power of a. Same thing here. I would bring in my square and bring in my square. Over here, for 162, well, this will be 162 v to the power of 4. Let's see if 162 is a nice squared number. So let's take the square root of 162. It's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to represent this as the square root of 162 and then v squared and then that whole thing squared. And now at this point, I can simply plug it into a difference of squares. So I'm going to have an addition and subtraction. This guy's squared values will go first. So this is a square root 162 v squared plus our value here, square root 2 w squared. And then again, this will be 100, root 162 v squared. minus root 2w squared. And there is your factored solution. It's a difference of squares. So anytime you have a difference and that you have um, either v squared, x squared, or x to the power of 4, so on and so forth, you can represent it like this. Okay? So let's maybe do one other example. I'll quickly write one out here. Okay, let's do example four on the bottom here or wherever you have room. Let's do um, 36x squared minus um, 25. So here, my front I know that 36x squared can be represented as 6 times x and that whole thing squared. 25 is simply 5 squared. So here, the factored form of this thing will be 6x plus 5, 6x minus 5. And there's your factored form. Okay, we'll do one more over here just since we have room and time. This, let's go x squared minus nine. So in this case, if we wanted to factor this, x squared can be represented as a single x to the power of two, which is pretty much the exact same thing. And then nine can be represented as three squared. So here we'll have x minus three, x plus three. So hopefully you're seeing the pattern now. Um, again, for perfect square trinomials, I wouldn't suggest trying to memorize. It's way too hard. Just factor by decomposition. For difference of squares trinomial, it's a little different. It's a little easier to recognize if you have a difference of squares. So if there's a subtraction symbol and these two things are squares, it's usually pretty easy to tell and you can just plug it into your factored form. Um, make sure you go check your understanding with this should say 3.8, of course, um, with the AFL 3.8. Do a quick edit there, 3.8. And make sure you're practicing lots because these will pop up.